Hey, everybody. Y'all doing all right? It's all right. Can y'all hear me okay with this microphone? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and kind of get started. we got some people coming up. Uh, anyway, they'll be here shortly, but anyway, I just wanted to thank you all again uh, for coming out. Uh, the children, uh, you know, we thank you for letting the, your children come uh, to West Union. And uh, it's a, a privilege and an honor for us to be able to, to pick them up. It's a lot of fun, especially on the long trips to Calhoun, to pick them up and hear the stories and all the things that they come up with and what they've done through the week. And uh, they're a loving bunch of kids, and that's that's good. And that's, uh, that shows a good family that they're coming from. And we appreciate you taking the time to show them that love. And uh, to, tonight's play, this time of year, is about another type of love, the love that our God and uh, Father in Heaven uh, showed us by sending His uh, only Son. Uh, he sent Jesus down for our salvation. Before uh, yep. Jesus came, we had no no way of making it to heaven, to an eternal home, to an eternal uh, resting place, maybe not a resting place, but a fun place, uh, free of sin and free of pain and, for, and just full of love. And that's what we're trying to teach these children because this world is trying to take over and block that out. And so we appreciate, uh, I know they're bringing it home to y'all. And so they're, they're little ministers as well. Uh, they're uh, getting out and preaching the gospel. You're just getting a little bit here and a little bit there, but it, it means a lot that you'll pick up on it. Uh, this is a great time of year too, to, uh, to make the decision to follow Christ as your savior. Uh, there's gonna uh, be an eternal somewhere when you die. And I'm gonna tell you the, the place that you need to be is with Jesus in heaven and his father. And uh, it's going to be a great place. We uh, read about it in the Bible. And it tells you all you need to know in the Bible. And the Bible has been a great book uh, for us to study and teach and learn from. And uh, what's amazing from it is you can read it this year. And two years later, you can read the same thing. And you get a totally different text out of it. So without saying anything else, because I'm talking about as long as I think I probably need to talk, we'll go ahead and get started. And whoever comes in, comes in. And it, they just missed out. So we think you good with that? All right. Thank you all. Before Jesus was born, the prophet Isaiah told this, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel.
angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also that holy one who is born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative has also conceived a son of her in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For, the, for with God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold the measure of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judah, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Behold who 
And there were in the same country shepherds, abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. The glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid, and the angel said unto them, Fear not. For behold, I will be tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest. Yes, ma'am.